tried to eat one of our female employees when she just walked into the center. Um, mom was sitting here on the couch, and this guy decided he was going to eat one of our female employees when she came down the staircase. Good. At which point, I took the leash and collar from mom, the boy, and started working with him. She's done a great job, guys. I mean, I'm going to tell you what. Dog came in muzzled. She's muzzle conditioned him. Very important. Saves us a lot of time. We'll be able to do more work with this guy because of that. Because I don't have to do the muzzle training. So, what am I going to do different than what Marissa already did? Especially since she did a great job. Really done her homework. Really done her research. Really using proper tools. And using proper tools the right way. Good. Yes, good job. Here's what I think I'm going to do different. Do the same thing she did. And I'm going to be able to create situations with dogs on the other side of this, dogs outside on the other side of other kennels, and by using tiebacks and things of that nature that we have the ability to create here that you don't have at home. So we're going to go for a little walk this morning. That's so where I'm going to start with this guy, just to develop some dynamics between he and I, and to get him understanding his obedience with me. Good boy. So a little pressure up here. I hope we get an SIT. Good. Marissa's done a great job. First thing we're going to do is just make some 180s and get him to follow me. Good. You guys can see here we're using this pinch collar. It's evil pinch collars. You know, they've got that reputation of abusing dogs. Guys, this Roddy here could pull me in. I'm 125, 130 pounds of sheer masculinity. This guy can pull me around. Using with this collar, I'm simply going to use this collar to send signals to a dog. Now, she's going to expand his training bubble by getting closer to the distraction. Whole goal here, guys, if you're paying attention, is that we started with obedience. And as soon as he's not paying her attention, she's getting him focused back on her so she can discover at what point he thinks it's okay to react to the dog. Let's see what happens when we get close. Notice how I pressured her into that guy. Yep, N O. And yep, you can use that remote. Good, good, good. Best thing she did there, guys, if you notice, instead of continuing to pull against the dog who is focused on the dog, she gave him a command that he knew, which was come. Great job. Doesn't even look at him. That a boy. 